Hello everybody, Ronnie here, and we're about to talk about all things vaults. Now I think you might have an idea where we're going, but for the record, Clive, what madness have you got us involved in? So the Mantic Vault, quite simply, is our answer to a STL subscription programme, where you can join up and get a load of cool models monthly for you to print at home on your 3D printer. Right. Firstly, you know, all those words he just said, they sound like gibberish, old Luddite like me. But let's just examine kind of, well, we don't, we'll talk through the next five minutes, what it is, why, why it makes sense, and, uh, you know, what people want to do if they want to get, get involved in that. Sure. So, I mean, firstly, let's teasing it out. We sent out a newsletter earlier today, which is why you're all here. Hi, everybody, saying, hi, come along and hear about the vaults. And there were some links to free boats. Yeah, it should be these boats. Obviously, these are our nicely studio painted ones, but I'm sure you can paint them at home after you've printed them. But these are the two models you get free just for registering on the site. So forgive it, I made the Luddite here. This link will allow me to go down and register on the site. Yeah. Uh, there we are. And then in that folder there will be these boats. And then people take these and print them on their 3D printers. Yeah. You know, talk us old people through it. Right. So what, at the end of it, you've got your boat. So you go on the website. Yeah. You'll register, create okay. an account. Um, that's the only step you really need to do at the moment to get these free boats. Um, you'll get the files for the hull, the sails. You just slice them in your program at home, stick them whatever printer you may have, and then print those files. They'll then come out as nice resin models right. that you can glue, paint, play, and do, do everything you would. Do all the normal things you would do. With, okay. All the normal I think it's worth saying, if you've got a Mantic, if you're already registered for the Mantic Companion, I think you're yeah. registered, aren't you? Yeah, 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 sure. So it's the same cool. It's the same login details. I think you've got one with the other. So um, you, you have to fiddle around, but there we are, the same yeah. details. Might be on two different sites, but you can use the same details that recognize you. So that's good. Okay, so then I could take my freebie downloadable uh, Armada rules and I've got boats and I can play the game. You can, yeah. There we are. So there that's we are. Free. That's brilliant. Thanks very much for joining. No, there's more, isn't there? Lots more. There is lots Tons more. more. Right, okay. So people have got their companion, um, which I think is two ways. There's lots and lots of free. There's two free yeah. army lists for every single game we do. There's some ambush rules and getting started rules for every game we do as well. Yeah. Those that have gone the one step, the tournament players, the more hardcore, the people that want can't get stuff to wherever they live, might have a subscription. Yes. Um, this is separate to that. This is a an STL thing. Yeah. So imagine it's just like a bolt onto everything you've just said. Now there's an option to buy STL files to complement everything that you've already got in there for free or paid, however you subscribe. Um, so all those lists you make, you can now effectively print the models for those lists. Okay. They're available in the program. So these are official models. They're, you know, tournament legal, as they say. But let's just talk about So let's take Armada first. I think that's going to be our first release over the coming few months. Certainly a big part of it, yeah. Uh, so how do I... So tell, tell me how it's going to work. I've got... I've got you know, I've got, I take out a subscription, what does yep. it allow me to do, and how is it going to unfold over the next three or four months? So I'll take the first month because that one, obviously, everyone's going to want to see it and something called a welcome pack. Right. So the first thing you notice when you subscribe, regardless of what month we may be releasing, is the welcome pack. Okay. So in there will be a selection of models that grows over time. Um, you'll get elements from our sci-fi games, elements from fantasy games, some boat stuff, some terrain stuff. It's like a snapshot of what makes Mantic cool okay. for you to print at home. And, and, and for example, these the terrain pieces, are they from our terrain crate or are these unique pieces that are... Some are unique pieces okay. that, that we just couldn't get away with tooling and so, putting okay. out. So I think um, the traps were one we looked yeah, at there's where some, there's a few interesting new dungeon traps that yeah. aren't on the tool. That's right. Uh, here we go. And okay. there's a massive fauna bug-eating plant thing that you could use as a monster and all sorts of deals. Okay, so, so we've just had a bit of fun here. Just, yeah. little, it runs the gamut of all of our ranges. No matter yeah. when you subscribe, you get that welcome pack. You do, and, and it as, grows over time. As we keep adding more things in, here's a new yeah. unique model or something special, we'll whack it in and okay, you get that. If exactly. you've got a subscription after six months, we add something, you'd get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the welcome pack is just always going to grow and improve in value and show off what we do. Great. Um, Month one. Month one is mainly focused around a couple of 
kind of images. You've got the boat, which is giving you what constitutes the starter and a booster set for the Basilians and the Orcs. Okay. So from month one, day one, minute one, you subscribe you could potentially get a whole Orc fleet printing, a whole Basilian fleet So I'm now printing. not just getting one boat, I'm getting the, you know, all the rest of the, of the boats in that Basilian. Everything print. except for an XL, like right. the Monolith, yeah. or the Flyers. Okay, so you're okay, going to so you're gonna get you know, start set and booster set. What, what we launched yeah. when we launched Armada in that first month, Yes, that's now there for print. Yep, in month one, day one, ready to go. And so if you've got your companion app and that, you can now play the game, print the ships, and you play. You can. Done, done and done You're and done. Almost done. There's actually more to it than that. Okay. You, you also get some scenery upgrades. So you you know in the Armada box set, you've got cardboard scenery islands and things like that. Yeah. So we, we've actually made some 3D versions of those. Okay. So you can replace those cardboard with the exact same size and shape, 3D printed islands and little so rocks. Even if you've got a Armada fleet, it's all painted and everything else, there's things in there that you can go, ooh, you know what, I'm just going to yeah, print myself exactly. a little terrain and terrain. So if you're a Armada fanatic, if you like, yeah. there's something in there that's never been released before, so that's quite good fun. Exactly. Or a nutter like me and want six bomb boats, well, I just print six bomb boats in a row and now I've got six ready for my fleet. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. And then also all those things where I need one of these to complete my fleet out. Yes. You can personalise it, you can tweak up, and, and, and they'll be the same scale and the same They are. This size. one's 3D printed. Okay. And it's, so, it's right yeah. there next to our it normal is. stuff. So it's just, you just add the boats and the fleets that you want. Now, I do notice they're slightly different size down so there. So this is another marvel of 3D printing in the, maybe, say you want to do a diorama. Uh, this is the size of a normal Armada ship. But the camera might be that up. So me being a bit crazy, I decided to shrink it to about 40% of its correct size. And so I've got small ones, so I can create little dioramas of or, small tiny ships or maybe 20 years ago you played an alternative yeah like that time travel and go back yes uh, no I'm just saying a fantasy boat game there was a different scale than Armada was you could possibly man that would be so much fun wouldn't it <laughs> okay so if the people out there that want to do those types of things yes you can do that I mean yeah that, that one was a monolith that, that's no. the proper size <laughs> That's, That's the, the little ditty size. For, for other alternative game systems out there, you can, yeah. so you, can, you can shrink them, you can make them work for yourselves and so on and so forth. You can truly in nut cases, I've done this, you can blow them up too. You can make ships that are like four foot I did want you to bring that in actually because it was fairly impressive. An act of lunacy but fairly <laughs> impressive. Okay, but you're not just getting Armada. No. Um, the first month will also include the first big kind of 3D move for our Kings of War IP. So we're going to take the Storm in the Shires. Right. Really good start set. Yes, cool models. Carflings and Ripple Jorks, I think. Lots, yes. So right. one, of the, one of the pains we hear from our customers and fans is wanting to run hordes and hordes of things that are resin. Yeah. And, you know, this Star box Wars is, is, a, is a classic. So, and I, you know, chatted about this. We didn't have room on the tool to add the two-handed weapons and the, the armoured heads. And so we make those in resin. And I think you've just seen a video about our resin process and just how complicated it is. Once we've taken a lot of early pain on a plastic sprue, from that point onwards, it just keeps coming. We put it in a box, we ship it anywhere to you. Wonderful. But making resin, always hand cast, niche cottage industry. And if you're building um, some stalwarts, you probably need 40 of them to make a hoard. And that means you need to buy four boxes of this. And although they're very reasonable at 35 quid, even when you buy four of them, 50 bucks, that's only 200 bucks for a, for a horde regiment. Not now, anymore. Not you don't have to do that anymore. No, you just have to subscribe. And in month one, day one, ready to go, we've got an upgrade to this box that essentially gives you all of the resin arms and head options for the halflings. So you can run poachers, Star Wars, anything you want on the yeah. cab. All you need is the plastic sprue and now you can 3D print all the unit so options. So you've got the plastic sprues in here, you can buy an ambush set. So as yeah. you're spanning out your army, spend a sensible amount of money. And what and I think it worse romantic too, you know, hand casting this resin is difficult. There's certain bits we love to do that make sense, there's certain yeah. bits that just don't, and why are we sending 10 heads around the world uh, out for every retailer? Uh, now let's just keep the plastics in stock, fill out on those, um, you know, and, and away you go and add the tweaks and the unique bits to your army from your printer. And so I think for everybody, and the planet, we're not shipping resin around the world, you just can take it out and print it at home. So yeah. there's things that are 
not, you know, you just need tons of. Yes. There's a few other things as well that we put into resin, isn't there, for the Kings of War yeah. as you're building these armies out. Well, you know, sometimes you want a nice smash face Rift Forged Orc army with lots of really cool flyers that hit like a ton of bricks. And buying hordes and hordes of those, again, kind of feels like a barrier to entry. Yeah. And um, Mantic has never really had barriers to entry, so we want to try and fix that too. Um, so they're a little bit smaller than you would normally have them printed. <laughs> well, you can print these at 28 mil. They come, they come 28 ready mil. to print at 28 mil. Right. So you um, shrunk them because you're a nutcase. I have shrunk them, yes, yeah. because, you know, I like changing sizes and doing big and small. So that would be one... Rift, what are they called now? Or Manticles? Yeah, I can't remember the unit name because you know. And, then, and this is a unit on them. Here you go. That's so all of so them. you can haul them there, so you can print them off, and yeah. you can start adding these big chunky things to your army, which are a pain for us to print, a uh, pain for us to cast in resin because the multiple parts, and you need to buy lots of them. If, uh, now, I'm, I don't. I, well, I do have three STL printers, but they're in work. You know, I don't know how to. But I've certainly no idea how to use them. That's and my so room. <laughs> I would. I would go out and, and and still buy these, and I'd just buy the army deals. But for those that yeah. want to do it this way, here it is. So you've got yeah. a game, the game itself, the Armada game. And is the plan? And what we're releasing fleet after fleet after fleet. It's a little bit of a surprise. So we we we've, we've fleshed out enough there. That I think there's three, four, maybe five fleets that will appear to start with. Over room. the next five, six months. I yeah, mean, it's, yeah, it's okay, quite it's not, front loaded. There's a okay, lot so we, to start. Not, this isn't two years with your no. lot subscribers. It's not one of those Agostini part works that you're going to finish your uh, Basilean fleet in You'll 20, be seeing things like the Empire of Dust and some dwarves. You, okay, you, so it's going to similarly roll out like our retail launch rolled out. Similarly, yeah. You know, as in stuff's coming, front loaded to get you going because we want yeah. everyone to have a go at it. And all the toys Armies, are in there. one a month. So that like the Halflings and Rift Forge um, this one. But we're still doing yeah. Kings of War each coming along. Some months we'll have Kings of War content. Some will have Armada. Some will have both. Some will have Firefight, Dead okay. Zone. There, there's so a the whole... smattering of everything. Okay, so there's themes running through it. There's something for everyone. And if I, you know, say, um, thank you, Simon. I, I want the Halfling Army. You just go and pick the month it was in. Be super reasonable, and in, yes. yeah, but I'm saying six months' time, I start collecting halfling yeah. army. I go back and I can go click out. I can so you'll be able to buy missed packs, missed months at a later date. Right. So you could come on board six months down the line and go, Wow, I missed that on loads, yeah. or I fancy building a halfling army now. All I've got to do is go through the app, go back to month one, and buy that pack because I missed it. Okay. And now I've got all those files, I can carry them. Okay, great. Um, so it's not w w once and gone forever. Obviously, when you subscribe, because then you can yeah. just keep getting new things. But if you are doing a half an army four months from now, it's not gone forever. No, it's forever. One, once once you've bought that pack, it's yours. Right. It stays in your vault. Bring what has you been the, the cavalry? What have you? Okay, yeah. good. Um, well, I mean, it all sounds terribly exciting. Yeah. Now, I think we just want to talk briefly about cost. Yeah. So what is it? What does it cost you monthly if you're just a normal uh, one of these STL nutters? One, um, one of me. Yeah, correct. Yeah. One of those people who do this STL. It's kind of like a hobby, but just different. So the, the crazy of the STL, lots of you out there, and we're hoping that this will open up Mantic to a whole new audience. Yeah. You know, we're doing really great recruiting people at the moment, but we want more, more people to play Armada, more to play Kings of War. Yeah. We're hoping this will unlock that for them. How much are those chaps going to have to pay? I think we settled on ten pounds a month for non-companion subscribers. Okay, so that seems very reasonable for yeah. all of the models we've ever made for an Armada game. So that's kind of slightly frightening. For <laughs> almost my all. Yeah. Let's set the expectation. Almost. Okay, so almost all, all, but lots and lots of both for a yeah. very reasonable amount of money. And if there, I think might even discount on that for the yeah, first so months or however long it is or whatever. So no, it's intro it's promo. There is an early bird. Okay, so whereby you'll get it at a reduced price. Okay. Um, so yeah. if you are interested, go grab it sooner yes. rather than later. There'll be a, if you lock in that price, you'll have that price forever. You will. If you're locked in as an early bird, you'll get that discounted price for the lifetime of your subscriptions. Perfect. Um, okay, that sounds good. And now we've done a special super mega deal for I think our it's companion. Like half price if you're already on the companion. Okay. So we've really seriously whacked the discount through for those loyal yeah. customers that are with us on the companion. You've got the rules, have the boats, have yeah. your army deals, and it's kind of a you know a, a, a monthly uh, 
Stip and Tomantic, which we're very thankful for. Thank you, you know, everyone that currently subscribes and those that will. It really does help us keep supporting our games and uh, keep us growing the community. So thank you. And um, half price for those chaps. I think it's even less than half price if Is you're it? an early bird. It's okay. So if you're an early bird, thing well, yeah. I think we're thinking ten pounds a month always, isn't it? Something like that. That's all in, yeah. So you're going to get all the rules, all of what we do, and every month's release is coming out. So those of you that do this kind of thing, uh, firstly, you know, wow, and secondly, come join us on Mantic Companion. Thank you. Thank you.